Okay, we're going to work on finding the distance between a point and a line, and I'm going to illustrate this with an example here. Um, the first example is this one, and uh, it essentially says here, find the distance between point P, which is the point 6, 8, and line M, and line M contains these two points, uh, 3, 1, and negative 2, 1. I'm going to illustrate this with just a quick sketch here, and uh, by doing so here, so if I have a quick graph here, and I find the point 3, 1. Well, 3, 1 would be something around right there. There's where 3, 1 would be. Negative 2, 1, okay, well, I'd go negative 2 and up 1. So it's something around here. You'll notice that actually both y coordinates are exactly the same, which means that this line is actually a straight horizontal line. Okay, this line would be a straight horizontal line. Point P would be to point 6 and 8. So it's something maybe around here would be point P. And what they essentially want me to find is the distance from this point to this line. And of course, it's the shortest distance. Well, it turns out that when I take um, the distance here, it turns out that it ends up being um, a 90 degree angle right here. In other words, this line will be perpendicular to this line. This is always the case, that it'll be perpendicular. So what they're after here, when they say find the distance, is right here. That's the distance they want, from this point to that line. They want that distance. So we need to know a couple things. We need to know that, okay, well this point P is going to be 6, 8. So we know that point. What we need to find out is what this point is right here, and that is going to be the intersection. Okay, and that's going to be the intersection of those two points. Um, let's see how we can do that. Okay, well, first of all, this one's actually a little straightforward. It's actually like, very straightforward because the um, for this one here, we can see here that this is going to be a horizontal line. And if this is perpendicular, this has to be a vertical line. Well, the equation okay, for line M, and that's this one right here. This is line M containing these two points. This equation is going to be y is equal to 1 because it's always 1. Horizontal lines always have the equation y equal to something. And in this case, it's going to be 1. Um, well, if that's line M, line, uh, we can call it, call it a new one here. I'm going to call this line N. Okay, there's point P, but line N, okay, this line right here, um, would have to have the equation. Well, let's take a look. What is it always? Well, it's always going to be 8. It's always going to be 8. Okay, 1, 2, or pardon me, it's not 8. Pardon me, it's always going to be 6. That's a y coordinate. It's always going to be 6. And so, in fact, this equation should be x equals 6. And I get something like this because it's always going to be 6. So here are my two equations. Well, where would the line y equal 1 and x equals 6 intersect? I'm going to guess that the intersection here is going to be 6, 1 because of these two points, 6 in the x, 1 in the y. So here's my intersection. Now that I know these two points, I can rely on the distance formula. And the distance formula, just to refresh your memory, is d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. When I do this now, you're going to get here, uh, if I plug in my numbers, I have the point 6, 8. Okay, so the difference in the x's will actually give me, if I put my numbers, you're going to get 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6 squared, plus, then I'm going to get 8 minus 1 squared, in which case I'm going to get, well, that's going to be 0, that'll give me 0. This will give me 7. So 7 squared, but then I'm going to take the square root. Okay, so I'm ultimately going to get here 49, which ends up becoming 7. And there's the distance. By the way, I could have spotted this very quickly if I would have looked and said, well, wait a minute. From 6, 8 to 6, 1, again, this is just a vertical line, so the difference in this is going to be a difference of 8 minus 1, which is 7. And I could have found it that way as well. Here's part 1 of finding the distance between the line. I'm going to show another example in just a moment.